Hello and welcome to my first, yeah, let's call it voice chat video guide or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> first of all, please don't blame me for my English, I know it's not very good, but yeah, I'm about to improve it and I hope you guys will understand me. Um, yeah, first I decided to make a video because uh, many people asked me about how dimensional volume rotation actually works and shit. Because many people used to play uh, Bombardment with Helix before the Solvent patch. Yeah, but now then we finally got our Solvent patch and we were like first to uh, play Dimensional Body with Dragon Helix and uh, Bombardment with Dragon Call. So there came a couple of questions up like, why should I play this? It uh, uh, Volley deals no damage compared to Bombardment and shit. And yeah, because Volley is actually like, the skill itself is not there for doing damage. It's just there for creating Spectral Orbs. It's not about to spam. That's the point there. Um, so since it is all about creating Spectral Orbs, I thought we start with the like most important skills that uh, create Spectral Orbs and we use the most for yeah, spamming our helix um, because I guess we all know uh, that when that we need three spectral orbs to cast one helix. I guess this is some basic knowledge that like yeah everybody should know. Um, also, some basic knowledge is like that uh, our wingstorm uh, always creates uh, three spectral orbs on hit. So like every wingstorm tick, we can cast a helix on it. This is also pretty clear, I guess. Um, another skill that creates spectral orbs is our rupture. Um, this is creates uh, one spectral orb on casting it so you don't need to crit it or whatever you just need to cast your skill and get an spectral orb which is pretty good and pretty useful because you don't even need to crit it like for example the HM version of the helix is also creating spectral orbs but you need to crit on it as you can read there you can create three, two spectral orbs at least so Let's say when you have the situation that you crit your helix, you can do your rupture right after and instantly cast another helix on it, which is actually pretty good. Yo. And then we come to the dimensional volley, I guess. This is like the most important part. Um, you can see there is some greenish stuff. This is like basically the stuff that gets added into the skill when you get the agent version of the RMB, which is like pretty necessary and important to have to play the build with maximum potential in my opinion. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, the Dimensional Salvo, like the blue version of the RMB, creates one additional Spectral Orb on hit and also decreases the cooldown on, on your Wingstorm by two seconds. So you can cast more Wingstorms, make more Helixes and so on so yeah this is like actually pretty good dps boost for longer fights and also the fact that you get an additional spectral orb on the dimension cyber when you crit it so you can actually like get two spectral orbs when you crit it and one when you don't crit by using the blue version of the rmb yeah maybe sounds like pretty <laughs> confusing right now but uh yeah i will just switch to the machine dummies right now and show you what i mean So let me show you what happens when you just spam RMB like you did it with Bombardment. You see they actually deal no damage and you also don't get the blue version of your RMB, the Dimensional Cyber one, which we wanted so bad because as you can remember they create spectral orbs and they also deal a lot more damage. When I just spam my RMB I don't get the blue version because the mechanic here is actually different. Like when you use your red RMB once and wait a second, it turns into blue automatically. And as you can see, I just did a, did a 15k crit. It is a lot more damage as the red and the purple versions. Yeah, and that's basically what we try here. Like using it once to get the blue. And if I would just spam it, I would never get the blue and just do small crits pretty long animation which would be pretty annoying yeah but I mean it's like somehow stupid just cast a skill and wait and then cast another skill so we basically try to fill the time with a rupture in between so we cast it do rupture and then we can cast the blue again as you can see but 
if we crit our uh, RMB already and use our rupture on it, it could already be that we can cast the helix on it. So this is like not really like a rotation or something. This is why it is so hard to explain. It's more like a priority list. Like you always use your helix when it is up and always use your uh, blue RMB when it's up. But of course, helix always as the first option. And yeah, when you don't crit any and you need you have some time in, in between waiting for the blue version, you just spam your rupture. Yeah, that's basically the rotation. Another skill we didn't mention yet is our soul shackle. Like I play the stage four version, the HM version of course. Um, because yeah, it gives you a free helix and the shackle itself also deals more damage. Like when I cast it, I can just use a helix on it because it creates free spectral orbs. Also as many helixes as I cast, uh, the cooldown of this lowers. So I can always put some free helixes in between and yeah this is actually also pretty good like when you have rotations where you maybe don't create you can just put this in it to get back in the rotation so we just try to show up a short rotation without the wing storm so you can actually see how the uh, priority list works or should work if i do it correct Yeah, as you saw, I had like pretty less crits in there, so that's why there were not many helixes and I also ran out of chi. This is why it is like pretty complicated doing that without Wingstorm, because usually I try to manage my chi with my mantra, which you can use on, on every uh, tick of your Wingstorm. And yeah, since you already engage and start with your Wingstorm, you can cast your mantra and have like no chi problems, it is like, that is why it is a little complicated to show the rotation off but I hope you understood it a little like that you always try to focus on using helix first whatever you do and uh, never spam your RMB just try to focus on the blue version and always use it when it's up and while you wait for it you can just do your rupture as I do here And yeah, that's basically it. I don't know, I, it's like hard to explain. But I hope you guys understood it somehow. So another thing I wanted to say is uh, yeah, basically my opinion about uh, Ice Burst Stuck build because many people asked like, yeah, what is better and what should I play and whatever. And yeah, I did a couple of DPS tests on dummies and shit and also in dungeons. And uh, at least how I played this, I mean, this is different to every play, you know, but at least how I played it, uh, the dark build was uh, a little more DPS than the ice build. Um, as long as you have the, the dark primary soul badge from Infinite Tower. If you don't have the soul badge and if you don't have all the HM skills, like the HM2, the HM RMB, HM4 is necessary anyway, you can't, can't deal any damage without it. And the HM mantra of course, for your, your uh, chi management. Then I would just recommend you to go Ice Build because the difference is like not that big anymore. The Ice Soul Burn is a lot better, like only the Soul Burn itself, is a lot better than the, the Dark version of it. The only reason why the DPS itself goes uh, goes up after the soul burn the dark root is because you have the soul badge and that's it. So if you're a beginner warlock and don't have all these HM skills, just uh, go for achievements, uh, get the, the, the HM4 on the achievement merchant and uh, go Ice Bolt because this is actually the only thing you need for Ice Bolt, the HM4. And yeah, then work on your gear and then like you if, if you got all the HM skills and the soul badge someday You can uh, you can switch to dark later on But yeah, the difference is like not as big as it was before because the ice uh, soul burn is so strong So you don't need to think that just because you play ice you deal less damage or something like your damage is pretty pretty good It's just a little better when you when you get the, the dark soul badge. That's it
Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I could help you a little to improve your dark build rotation. And yeah, I'm sure when you practice it a little and just, just keep looking at your skills, then you will enjoy this build a lot, especially when you get the soul badge. It's so much more fun to play because you can just spam all these helixes around and yeah, you will enjoy it, I'm pretty sure. So yes, I'm done for this. If you have uh, some questions, you can leave them in the comments, of course, and we'll try to answer the questions as soon as I can. And yeah, if you have some more questions about ice build or dark world rotations or in how the new soul badge works, you can also just check uh, the description. I just linked some past videos there. And yes, thanks for watching and see you around.